so the best thing just happened or at least i hope it's a good thing that just happened here's the backstory so i knew today was going to be a very emotional day um i had to take pearl to the vet to check her ear to figure out if she should basically live or not two seconds my mom's calling hello Sorry, that was just my mom celebrating the thing I want to share with you if I can manage to tell this story first. So Pearl, life or death, um, you didn't know what the result was. They checked there was a knot, I'm not sure if you call it a knot, in the ear, which she uh, could then either deal with or we could end the life if I uh, thought I didn't have the money to do it. So I said I had I have around $200 to do that and then I'm broke. Uh, so she said, okay. And then she removed the knot and she told that she has done this before and they have healed all of them. So she would believe that that would be the result for Pearl as well. If you don't know who Pearl is, Pearl is my hamster and her. I love her very much. She is my little baby, even though she is actually a very old lady at this point. Anyway, she got the knot removed, uh, but me and all of you who really care for her, we still need to emotionally prepare that she's not going to be here that much longer. Maybe she will, maybe she won't don't know but she is in a healing process and uh, she actually just woke up she's so cute I love her so much anyway that was emotional then I got home and I had to do a job interview um, which was hard to do after all of this but I was like let's take a deep breath and let's do this because I really need money <laughs> And then I had a talk, it was great, then it ended and I was like, oh no, should I said that? What's that wrong to say? Like, I really, I, I actually ended up calling my mom just to like block my brain for thinking all of these what if, what if, what if, which doesn't help me in any way. I knew the chance of getting rejected again was a thing, so I decided to go on a ride on my bike to do some grocery shopping um, and I ended up buying a lot of snacks uh, because I thought this might be a long painful road. By the way an important note is that uh, the person I talked to for the job interview said that they would get back in around one to two weeks time. But then I was on my way home and I saw I got a mail from this person and I checked it and was like what is going on? And they wrote that they are interested to hire me. And I just thought I had to tell you right away, even though I'm starting to sweat like crazy in this, um, even though I also think I'm sweating from excitement. And I should really go put these uh, items in the fridge. But anyway, I'm here, I'm here and I got a job. Hopefully I don't want to jinx anything. So I think what I'm gonna do now is just reply to him and say, yes, let's go, let's do this. Hopefully it's all good, the payment is good and there's nothing big that makes me say, wait, I can't have this job anyway. I'm so happy and so relieved. I feel like uh, my prayers have been heard. I really feel like uh, all my hard work has been paid back right in this moment. Also, thanks to my very sweet dad, I, I have decided to buy a new printer. So maybe, hopefully, we will be able to grey cute things again in the upcoming vlogs. Yay! So many yays! So many yays! I'm so happy! Okay, time to reply the email. And I will let you know if it actually is a finished deal.
Okay, so I feel like some of you that are of the curious type would love to hear more about this job that I got offered, but until I actually sign the contract, I think I'm going to wait to give you the details. It's currently Sunday and the making and signing of the contract will most likely be in the upcoming week. But until we're waiting for that to happen, I think I, I need to deal with what feels like the elephant walking around inside of my head right now. And that is my new printer. It is only for A4, but it feels gigantic and it's very big and very heavy. I received this box around like four days ago and I, I don't know, I'm just afraid everything will go wrong as soon as I open this box. So I just haven't also like I have had other things to deal with. So I just didn't feel like this was my biggest priority, but it was mostly also because of fear that things would go wrong. But to be able to move on and start creating cute things again, I need to look this fear in the eye and and set it up and hopefully everything will be working okay as it should. Also, I think one of my motivations is like, I think I look super cute today. My friend, uh, let me just put this box down. Ugh. One of my artist friend had this arrangement where you could come and look at her art. Her concept is to draw women and like have a name for it that can start a conversation to talk about, to get to know about each other on a deeper level. And you know, I love getting personal. This is just the way I am living my life. Here are some cute stickers she has also designed. And also please notice the beautiful nails I got done at this arrangement. This was seriously on my bucket list. And I'm just so happy whenever I look at my nails now. Also, if you like this concept and understand Danish, I really recommend following her. But yeah, that was just a cute little shout out to her. So proud, but now it's time to make myself proud by dealing with this new, hopefully awesome printer. I feel like I am on such an emotional roller coaster. I just tried to deal with my new printer again and connect it to Wi Fi, and I did it. It's now on the Wi Fi, so I don't have to connect it with a cable anymore, which is great. Here's the first print I just did on my new printer, and it looks great. Also, um, the colors are so different from each other. This is again the new and this is my old printer 
and the new one is so much more correct with the pink color that's amazing but i'm telling you trying out the new printer and being so expensive it actually hurt in my heart to 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 make the first print and cross my fingers everything was going to be okay and it is so now i'm just on a rush of happiness and now that i actually have the possibility to print things again this means i can finally put them up on my etsy shop even so i think it is a bit too late to actually cut them because it is noisy and i don't want to disturb my neighbors too much so for now i think i'm just going to print all the different uh, designs and then they will be ready to be cut tomorrow even though i need to go early to go to school and then i will be home late but i still think i can make it before dinner hopefully also about my job um i think i dare to talk about it and introduce it now since um i'm going to have an introduction meeting in two days time so the job i have to do is as a graphic designer but the company is selling um adjustable tables but only the legs and then they sell them to other companies that then make a finished adjustable uh, table other than that they are selling like compatible stuff and they have also just made a website uh, for denmark where they are selling for everyone with a pulse as my uh, new boss said <laughs> and my first project is going to be to help them get the word out that this website exists and hopefully get more buyers it's mostly the subject that i never saw myself in but i have realized that i just love the challenge of actually selling stuff and i think it's because i'm just seeing everything from a good perspective and i just think that the world is so beautiful so like everything is amazing to buy <laughs> in the end and I guess they're also helping people to like take care of their body while they are working or sitting. So I still kind of sneak in, uh, you know, helping people to take better care of themselves. What's also super interesting about this position is that it's remote. So I am going to sit at home at work and only be online with my colleagues. And a part of me really, really wants to like use this situation to get out and try to sit at different cafes and maybe even travel. I mean, wouldn't that be fun and also a bit crazy because I've never tried that before. But I mean, as long as there is a good connection, a good Wi-Fi, I guess it should be fine. But yeah, that that's my job situation. And I'm, I'm very excited and I'm like compared to what low amount of money I'm used to have, I, I feel like I'm about to be rich. And also if I'm going to be working remote, uh, I'm definitely going to improve my home even more with the money I'm gaining because the environment are affecting me so much. So uh, yeah, maybe this will lead to even more uh, home projects but i do also need to respect my boyfriend which is a bit more down to earth when it comes to the decoration in the apartment uh so for now i think i will use my energy on printing these out uh so we can have a photo shoot soon so they can be added to my etsy shop okay let's go
just currently Sunday morning. I decided to wake up early. For me, that is 7 a.m. Um, especially on a Sunday. But I just thought I wanted to give it a try to see if I could actually edit and publish the video on YouTube this week. I am going to have a friend over today, which is nice, and I'm not willing to sacrifice my social life for social media. Before I can edit and end this video, I just need to show you the final products. Some of them are old designs, as you might notice. The only big difference is that I have now learned how to cut them with my Silhouette Cameo, which I didn't knew how to do before or rather what settings to use, but because of this person, I have now saved a lot of time and paper trying to figure out what setting to use. So I am very, very grateful. Thank you. But now let's look at the cutie. I just need to get them first. It's so dark in here because it's cloudy today. But do look at you things anyway. La, 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 la. I think, oh, now I got everything. So to do this, I just need to get you all a little bit closer. Because you are pretty far away right now. <gasps> okay, hi. <laughs> so the first design is actually this, which is going to be a freebie to everybody who makes an honor. And it is a little pearl with a flower on her head. And it is to honor her because the update I haven't given yet is that she most likely have a tumor or something in her ear, uh, which you cannot do anything about really. So I just need to make sure she's doing okay. And when the time comes, when she is not looking very happy, it's time to say goodbye. Yes, I have cried a lot and been prepared for her death for some days now, um, but she's still doing pretty fine, so I'm not sure what's going on. She's a stubborn girl. But I just wanted to say this to let you all know that she might not be here that much longer, which you have also seen a post maybe on Instagram if you follow me over there. Next up, we have a pretty popular design and I get it because who doesn't want to sometimes take it back on their head which says not today and just skip the day because we don't want to deal with it. Getting a bit cozy, we have this design, which is also one I have designed before. And since it is rainy and cloudy today, I really wish this was me. Another design some of you have seen before is this cutie, which is called Delicious Dreams. Um, it is a bit bread and a little egg. A blanket with pearl laying on a butter pillow. I mean, this doesn't get any cuter and I also wish I had a bed and blanket like this actually. Next up we have a strawberry hat on Mr. Dog, which I also think is adorable. It actually comes from a theme pack, uh, but I thought you should be able to get it just by itself if you wanted that. Next up, another bread design. Uh, bread is not that good to eat all the time, but cute bread illustrations, I'm pretty sure is uh, good to go and we can have as many as we want. <laughs> then we have a new design and this is the one inspired from when I designed the display for my iPad. I will link the video if you want to see that. And here I was feeling very vulnerable and just really wanted to have Mr. Dog holding me. So I illustrated that and it is now a sticker because I thought this was just too precious to not be a sticker. At last for the die cut stickers, we have this design which has not been a sticker yet, but it is on one of my newest uh, prints. And I again thought it was just too cute to not be a sticker. So if you want little pearl, trying to be scary in her dino costume. It's all yours. Oui. Next up, we have some sticker sheets. This is the design some of you have seen before, but it was only here very, very shortly because then my printer decided to be stubborn and not work. But I did do some redesign and added a lot more of the different daily chores uh, so you can track them. If you want to, I believe we sometimes forget how much we are doing through the day because we doesn't count the chores as things 
on our to-do list, but with this, you can very easily avoid uh, repeating the same word over and over and just stick this cutie in your bullet journal or in your calendar and just use it to track whatever you think these icons are ready for. I can tell you, for me, this is laundry, cooking, grocery shopping, taking a bath, cleaning, taking down the trash, cleaning the dishes, and the heart is simply to remind that sometimes we should also remember to do something nice for ourselves. So that was the first design. Next up, we have another design which you have also seen before, now with new additions. Because in order to waste as little paper as possible, I did make this a bit bigger. And this is my goal party and this is all stickers meant to celebrate all your small steps on the journey. So instead of waiting for this big thing to end and be miserable on the way, this can maybe help us celebrate and see how awesome we already am and how much we are growing from the small steps instead of the only the big steps. As some of you have seen before, here's my own example. First of all, the sticker to celebrate that I now know how to make sticker sheets. Then I did a shop update. I was to a convention. I finished my portfolio, all sorts of things which has helped me to become the person I am today. There really is no right or wrong how to do this. Then we have this sticker sheet, which uh, has also been upgraded now that I have more space to work with it. It is called Kindness Reminders and it's just all these cute things that we sometimes need to be reminded is a thing because we can be very cruel to ourselves and forget a bit about all the good things we should actually say to ourselves in order to feel more happy about our life. The last one is also a bit to honor Pearl and it is called Hamster Madness and it was actually also inspired because some of you asked if I could create a hamster theme. So here, here you go. Even though this is based on Pearl's life and all the things she goes through, I can relate to a lot of it, like thinking about food all the time and want to run sometimes and sometimes eat too much. But they are all on my Etsy right in this moment. I will link it below. But that is all the products I managed to make for this vlog. I have been sweating a lot to be able to do this in only one week. But I'm only doing it because I really feel passionate about it. But now it is time to end this video so it doesn't overwhelm you too much. I have had my first day at the new job and they are so sweet. I am so relieved and I'm so excited for this new journey that is going to happen for me. So actually, before we end this video, I just have a few clips of me reacting to actually getting a job which I really want to share with you. So before I go do that, I just almost dropped something. I really wish to say and remind you that I hope you're staying loving and caring. You deserve it. We all deserve it. But now it is time to share my excitement of getting a job. And then afterwards, we will have our dance party. I got a job. I got a job. I got a job. I got a job. I actually got a job. Got a job. I actually got a job.